Hey, Michael. Uh, I think they closed the final eight and a half minutes on a 23 to 10 run. What did you just see over that final stretch? It was uh, very similar to the end of the second quarter. You know, we, we had a uh, double figure lead and then they closed that second quarter on a 12 to two run, uh, taking all momentum and making it a close game at halftime. Uh, in that fourth quarter, 23 to 10, even after that, a uh, 14 to six run. Uh, we could not make a shot. Uh, we were one for nine from three. I believe for the fourth quarter, we were seven of 22 from the field. Um, and we had some really wide open looks that just didn't go down. You know, Jamal had a, a very uncharacteristic night, five of 17. Uh, Jamal, uh, Jeremy Grant, five of 14. I told the guys after, you know, if you're open, shoot it. You know, obviously stay aggressive, look to attack. But if we generate an open shot, step into it, shoot it with confidence. So uh, they turned up the pressure. But to me, the story of the game was transition. Game one was one-on-one -on -one defense. Game two was their offensive rebounding. Tonight, they had 30 fast break points, which is unacceptable. 19 of those coming in the second half. All right, next we'll go to TJ McBride. TJ, go ahead. Hey, Coach, you touched on it, but Jamal Murray's night, it wasn't what everybody has expected from him at this point, but what was different? What did they do to be able to limit him differently in this game compared to game two? Well, obviously our defense wasn't where uh, it was in game two. So now you're, I mean, they shot 55 from the field, uh, scored 113 points, huge difference. So now what that means, TJ, is we're playing against a set defense. Now they can throw body after body at uh, Jamal Murray. They can put Patrick Beverly on Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, and just kind of wear him down. And so I think, as I told our players going into this game, understand why you win and why you lose. We're five and five in the playoffs and our five wins, our defense has been great. And our five losses, we haven't defended very well. Um, so we have to get back to defending to help get some easy looks in transition before they can get set. And you may get a cross match uh, once in a while, but uh, you know, Jamal has some wide open looks and you know, I could tell he's starting to get down on himself. Just trying to uplift him, you know, uh, we're going nowhere without Jamal Murray uh, and his offense. And I know he'll be better come game four. All right, next we'll go to Malika Andrews, who is there. Malika, go ahead. Well, he had played, uh, he put him in midway through the third quarter and he played however many minutes in a row. Uh, I thought, it, one, he was tired, but um, just trying to get some defense in the game. Uh, you know, our, our fourth quarter defense obviously wasn't uh, where it needed to be. Um, and just trying to get a veteran in, you know, Paul Millsap, veteran experience, toughness, rebounding. Um, and then late in the game, obviously, got Michael back in the game, trying to get, get us some, uh, some more offense because we were struggling to make shots. All right, next we will go to Kendra Andrews. Kendra, go ahead. There, um, Michael, this is the first time in, in the last two years when you guys were in the playoffs that you guys have been facing a team like the Clippers with just such high title aspirations. What did games like game two and game three and how you guys played for them or played against them do for your confidence? Well, I mean, there's no moral victories. You know, this, this is a playoff. So we, we lost tonight. We should have won the game. That's how I feel. Uh, that key stretched in the second quarter allowed them to close the gap and, and down the stretch. We just didn't execute and finish enough of our possessions and we didn't get back. But uh, you know, we, we were leading for most of this game. Um, so yeah, game two was a confidence builder because we played our brand of basketball. That is a, a, a who we are. If you want to just put like in a, a capsule, who's Denver Nuggets basketball? Game two embodies that defense, rebounding, physicality, attacking. And tonight we didn't have that because our defense wasn't where it needs to be. It all starts and ends with our defense. Uh, obviously down the stretch, we struggle to make uh, shots, but for the game, 32 assists, only 12 turnovers, 107 points, 47 from the field. We did enough offensively, but we just needed a lot more from our defense. All right, we will end with Mike Singer. Mike, go ahead. Hey, Michael, obviously not the result you want, but is this a game where Mike can, can learn from, build off of, and kind of hone in on what he did really well tonight? Yeah, I mean, I, I get it. Everybody wants to talk about Michael Porter. We lost tonight. I mean, we, we didn't win the game. We have to regroup and get ready for game four. Thanks, Coach.